dear viewers welcome to today's episode which is the seventh episode in our series of 12 where we are looking at all the 12 questions in the 2021 gce mathematics paper 2. so question 7 leads in triangle a b c below a b equals 275 meters a c 45 meters bc 300 meters calculate angle b a c so we are being asked to calculate this angle angle b a c so the first thing that we need to ask ourselves is what have we been given we've been given all the three sides okay is one of the angles that we've been given a right angle triangle no we haven't been told that so since none of the angles we've been given we've been told is right angle triangle we can't use sokatoa sokatoa is out for now let us now look at the two options the sine law or cosine law so for us to use the sine law which basically requires that we compare that the ratio of the sine of an angle to the opposite side uh, is the same that ratio is the same for all the sides of the triangle but in this case we've not been given any angle so since we've not been given an angle, we can't use a sine law. Sine law requires that we have at least one angle and the opposite side. Then in this case, so the only option which remains is cosine law. So cosine law requires that you have at least all the sides. So if you've been given all the sides, you can use cosine law. So what does cosine law state? So in this case, for us to use cosine law, we need to have a reference point. So the reference point is angle A that will be given. Then the side opposite angle A is a small A. Then the side opposite angle C is the small C. Then the side opposite angle B is the small B. So what it means is for us the relationship between this angle B and the C and A is expressed by the cosine law. So the cosine law in this case states that the square of A, the side opposite angle A, is equal to the square of two sides that make that angle. Okay, so B and C, the two sides where they are meeting, that's where angle A is. Minus two times the two sides B, C, multiplied by cos, the same angle, which is in this case angle of interest A. So what you notice is A has been given to us, then B has also been given to us, C has been given to us, then what we don't know is just the angle A. So we can solve for cos A. So what, what happens is we bring these two, the other side. So we have A square minus B square minus C square is equal to negative 2 B C cos A. Then we divide by negative 1. 2bc and this side by negative 2bc then we are going to end up with basically cos a so cos a is equal to basically this so now that wastes much of time we can start substituting so what is a, a square so a is basically 300 square minus b square is basically uh, 45 then minus c square is 275 so 275 you square it then over minus 2 multiplied by uh, b is 45 then multiply by uh, 275 then what happens is on top when you finalize you so end up with basically 12,350 then divide by minus okay minus so at the bottom we end up with 24,750 uh, then what we do is at the end of the day when you simplify this we have cos a so cos a basically equals uh, minus 0 0.4989 then we need to find a so for us to find a we need to introduce an inverse of cos here and an inverse of cos here such that we end up with a is equal to uh, cos 
inverse then this number 4989 when you compute this on the calculator we end up with finding 119.9 to one decimal place but it, it will be 1.9 119.93 then then but we are required to give our answer in degrees to one decimal place according to the instruction on the first page so this is how you find the first part of the question which is this one to get the five marks out of 12 then the second question leads calculate the area of triangle abc so finding the area is much more straightforward so area of any triangle is given by f multiplied by um the angle we are using in this case is this angle that we know so it's the two sides that are forming that angle which is bc in this case then multiply by sign the angle that we are using so sign a there so we get basically f multiply by uh, 45 multiply by 275 then multiply by sign 119.9 this is the one that we are going to use so basically what is important is make sure that these two sides the one that we are using here they are forming the angle of interest so once we use the calculator and we simplify this once we use our calculator and simplify this we are going to get basically Five thousand three hundred and sixty-two point one three five. Then to three significant figures one two three. Since two is less than five, so just five thousand three hundred and sixty as our uh, area. Now this area is in what meters square? Okay, meters square, as because it's the area of the triangle. So basically that's how you answer that part then we go to uh, a loma numero three the shortest distance from a to bc so the shortest distance from a to bc will only be the one shortest distance if this the angles they meet at 90 degrees if they don't it will be longer than it you see to be longer than it, that one so the shortest is only when it is straight 90 degrees this side and this side so to find that answer to find that answer the quickest way is to find the shortest distance is to say d is equal to where d is the shortest distance is the 2 multiplied by the area now this area is the one that we used to find we found by you using this angle angle a that's the area we're talking about then you look for the side opposite that angle that we used to find the area of this side so this side is 300 so in this case it's a small a so you divide by a small a so if it was this angle here you're going to use you see you're going to use this side 275 if it was this angle shorter distance to here you're going to use uh this side as to divide so in this case it will just be two multiply by so we are going to use this one so that we are we increase our our degree of accuracy but it will not matter the difference will be minimal because we're given to three significant figures so just in case we wanted to give the accurate so when you simplify that you are going to end up with a uh, 35 point uh, seven five nine which is basically 30 5.8 to 3 significant figures these are meters so that's the, the shortest uh, distance so this is the quickest way that you can either use remember your strategy is better than your strength okay so let us go to part b so part b solve the equation so we are solving the equation uh cos theta equals negative 0.5 then this angle should lie uh, between 180 and 360 so again the same way we did when you're finding uh, the angle so we introduce the inverse of course here so we remain with theta is equal to uh, so in this case it will just be cos inverse 0.5 of this remember the negative is telling us in which quadrant is cos negative okay in which quadrant is cause negative so when you calculate this we end up with with our kid we end up with 60. now we know that we use this principle that all students take 
uh, all students take chemistry okay so all students take chemistry so all of them cos sine and tangent are positive sine is positive tangent is positive cos is negative so because the angle should be between 180 and 360 we are only getting this area this quadrant in which uh, cos is negative so it will be 180 then we are going this quadrant so it's 180 plus 60 so our theta in this case will be basically 180 plus 60 which will be basically 240 degrees so this is how you find the the theta at b to get that one mark it's even straightforward and simple okay let us look at c so c is simplify so we have 18 a to the power 3 over 18 a to the power 3 b over 16 c c, c, c cube then d square okay so c is a cube then d square then we divide by uh, basically 24 a over uh, 15 c b uh, cube then multiply by 8 c square then d to the power 3 over a 30 a to the power 3 b okay so what is important here is uh, understanding the operation of uh, these uh, key uh, principles so we can use body mass so we start with division there are no brackets here bracket of the so division multiplication so we start with division so we need to change this okay so we have to introduce a multiplication once we do a multiplication this one goes up then the other one comes down the numerator goes up the denominator comes uh denominator goes up numerator comes down then we end up with basically 18 a to the power 3 b over 16 c to the power 3 d to the power 2 then we are multiplying then we have 15 c b to the power 3 over uh, 24 a then we are multiplying with this one which remains unchanged uh, c to the power 3 d to the power 3 over 30 a to the power 3 b the common mistake is when people they introduce a, a multiplication here they swap everything this one goes down and this one goes up the same with this one that's a mistake so you need to avoid the, that trap so that's what they're trying to assess you whether you understand the, these key principles so this one is now at this point is just to cancel so this b and this b straightforward they cancel then we have basically uh this a so we have a to the power three okay a to the power three this is a to the power two just a, it was a mistake is a to the power two so this this one and this one cancels we remain with a e then we have d so d to the power two goes there then d there we mean with a d there okay then we have c to the power three so we have c to the power three this c to the power three and this c to the power three they cancel okay then what uh comes next what comes next is or oh, actually this is uh sorry it's a bit faint this is c to the power two so this is c to the power two not to the power three this is c to the power two so here we remain with one c then this c goes okay then we can now uh i think we are almost done with letters you're done okay so this c and this c goes okay that's okay then we are done with letters so we come to the numbers so we know uh we know 8 into 8 is a 1 8 into 16 is a 2 2 into 2 is a 1 2 into 18 is a 9 then uh 15 into 15 
is a is a one. Fifteen into thirty is a two. Okay. Then we know that three into nine is a three. Three into twenty-four is a uh, basically eight. Okay. So I think we are done. Then we can start multiplying. So we have three multiplied by three multiplied by b square multiplied by d. We end up with three b square d over uh, basically two times two sixteen. Then a times a, which is a square. So we end up with three b square d divided by sixteen a square as our final answer. So basically, this is how you answer question seven to get the highest possible max. Please join me as I look at question eight in episode eight. Thank you very much.